Affirmations for Grief and Loss. I've gotten a few requests lately for this topic, and I thought it was about time I create some affirmations specifically for this purpose, for people who are grieving the loss of a loved one, whether that loved one be a human being or a pet. And I wanted these statements to address a number of important themes, one of them being the five stages of grief that was first proposed by Elizabeth Kubler-Ross. And they include denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. Of course, every individual experiences these phases in different ways, but it's helpful to acknowledge the different phases that we all go through when we're grieving a loss like this. I also wanted these affirmations to speak to some of the best practices for navigating grief. And those include allowing yourself to feel the sadness, not to shy away from expressing it, and giving yourself time to heal. I also wanted them to address the importance of talking about your loss, speaking with friends and family and support groups to help you process your emotions. It's also important that you take care of yourself physically, mentally, and spiritually. And please do not shy away from seeking professional help if your grief just feels like it's too much to bear. I think it's also important to honor the memory of our loved ones or our pets, to continue to feel their presence and have a bond with them that won't go away, but it will evolve over time. The bottom line is to allow yourself time to heal. And that healing from your grief does not mean that you're forgetting about the loved one or moving on, but you can find a way to have memories of them without feeling that heaviness and that burden. Things will get lighter over time, and I hope these affirmations will help you. So I hope you're in a place where you feel safe and comfortable And just give yourself this time to say these affirmations to help you through these trying times. Take a deep breath. Let it out. Another deep breath in. Exhale. And repeat these affirmations back to yourself in the space after each one. Let's begin. I allow myself to feel the grief fully. My feelings are valid and important. I am gentle with myself as I feel the loss. Healing is possible, one step at a time. I honor my emotions as I go on this journey. I cherish the memories I hold dear. Each day, I find strength in special moments. I am surrounded by love and support. I give myself permission to heal at my own pace. It's okay to seek help when I need it. I find comfort in shared stories and memories.
I embrace my feelings, whatever they may be. I am finding my path through the pain. I honor this loss by taking meaningful steps forward. I connect with others through my vulnerability. My heart is open to peace and healing. I accept the support of those around me. I reach out when I need to talk with somebody. I remember the love more than the loss. My grief is a testament to my love. I grow stronger with each passing day. I will find joy again alongside my grief. I am slowly learning to live with this loss. I am resilient even in times of sadness. My love continues no matter what. Now for this next set of affirmations, we're going to switch things up. And I want these to be statements that you are speaking to the special person or your pet. It's not just self-talk. It's what you're actually saying to them. This will be very powerful. Here we go. I cherish the time we had together. I feel your presence every day. I am a better person for having loved you. I live my life as a tribute to who you are. My love for you will never go away. Your influence guides me every day. I honor you by living fully today. Our love is eternal and unbreakable. I carry you with me always. You inspire me to be the best version of myself. You have a special place in my heart forever.
Your memory brings me strength and comfort. I celebrate your life by fully living mine. I feel your love surrounding me every day. I commit to making you proud of who I am. Take a deep breath and let the emotions sink in. Feel the emotions. Allow them to happen. And know that by doing this, you are healing. You are honoring this wonderful person or pet. And you're setting the stage for you to embark on a new chapter of your life. One where eventually, when the time is right, the joy will return. Your mission, your purpose in life will return. It's happening now. You're planting the seeds. And someday, you'll look back and be amazed at the progress you make. All the while, honoring the memory of this special being. This is Bob Baker sending you virtual hugs from afar. I wish you the best. So long for now.